Hi, it's Nika from Fabulously Creative. Welcome back to my channel. And I just wanted to come and show you a quick update of my December Daily album and how far I got. Again, I'm use, I used the 3x8 album from Allie Edwards. And this is about how thick it is. I am not finished. I have a few days left to go. So I'm just going to show... This is not a complete flip through. Just, I guess, kind of a progress. How far I got during the month of December. Today is January 1st, so I'm officially putting this album away until next year. So, I just wanted to let you know like how far I actually got during the month of December. Alright, I never did the t intentions page. I never did page 1 and page 2. So that's three, three layouts in the front. And here we are at day 3. Let me see if I can zoom in a little. This is day three, and I'm not going to tell stories. I'm not going to go into detail. I just want to let show you like my progress and where I left off. Because I know a lot of people feel pressure that, oh, I have to finish this album in December. No, you don't have to finish. So this is day three. I have a little journaling here, but I have this tag stuck behind here. I'm going to go back later and do that journaling. Or, if I decide not to add more journaling, I can get like a popsicle stick with some glue and just glue that down. And I did that for a few pages because I knew I wasn't going to do all of the journaling or finish everything in December. But at least the pages are done. And I did a process video for day four and I messed this page up like after I did the process video. I decided to add more glue under there and it wrinkled everything. But... I think this is one of my favorite favorite days but this is day five the journaling isn't done but I have that tucked so I know actually I can tuck make mm, that's too big but like I know I can come back and do my journaling and just tuck it right there and I also want to do some journaling there this is day six it is like a movie poster I need to add the journaling there. No, that was that is day seven and then day six. I just taped my picture down and my journaling is under there. And that is all about how I fought with my this typewriter like all December long. And I just gave up in the end. This is day eight. I think day eight is complete. And I finally got to do this little um, where you cut out the picture. I finally got to do that and I have a shaker right here oh this is a cookie day I always have a lot on cookie day and I also have like this picture isn't glued all the way down I can go back and add more journaling add more to the story later this is day nine day nine I have the flip up no journaling is done for this day and I have more pictures tucked behind here to come back and do later. Oh, this is written in pencil, so I do need to come back and like, I guess, go over that with a pen. I have a flip up. The journaling is not done. And also have, that is a piece of glue tape. I haven't pulled it off yet because I want to do the journaling first and then add like some decorative washi. Oh, and I finally got to use that, that felt. And this is day 10 and I did this I did this layout in bed and I just could not get it straight but I don't know I didn't feel like coming sit at my desk so this page is crooked and I just ended up gluing everything down because I couldn't get it straight and I don't think I'm gonna have room for my journaling right there so I have this card and I'm just gonna add the journaling right there and it has in pencil I have it written in pencil like what goes on the back of here I have tucked on side of here. I can come back and add my journaling about this layout. Oh, yeah, this is day, day 10, I think. So that would make this 11 or 12. I don't know. At this point, I lost track of the days, but this layout is done. This is just a picture in my kitchen. And my plan was to have like a full, 
like a full page photo but I had trouble I just had trouble printing photos for this book like I couldn't get it I couldn't get the dimensions right so I just ended up I don't know, I figured out a way to get it in. So this side of the photo pulls up and I have the story. And this day is actually complete. So I have all the journaling in there. I have an extra picture and the story. I may come back and add um, like a title down the side. And I do have to add the number. This is, I have no idea what day this is. Uh-oh. But I have all my pictures tucked inside of there and I'm going to put the journaling on there and I got these little pockets at um I found these little pockets at Hobby Lobby they're nice but I don't know it's hard to tuck stuff in them I guess or maybe I need to add some washi tape to the back of it But this 15, 4, this is day 13. Oh, because I stopped numbering the pages. This is day 14. This page is complete. I didn't have any journaling for this day. It's just like a family night, taco night. And I have their pictures covered up. Day 15 was about Christmas pancakes. Again, no journaling is done. Just the pictures. Uh-oh. This was the Spider-Man movie. I'm trying to make this really quick, but I see I'm rambling already. This is the Spider-Man movie, and I took these pictures in the dark. Plus, my, my printer was acting up. I could not get these pictures to print right. So I just have them on here. I will reprint this later and just mount it, mount it on here, because I have it already saved that same size, and add my journaling to the back. It was a Spider-Man movie. Oh, and this side, I may just put a big number 16 on this side. Day 17, that layout is not complete. And, like, the layout is not complete, but I do have, like, the journaling is done. The papers are picked. Like, I have everything laid out. I just couldn't get my picture printed. So, that is day 17, day 18. And I may, I may come back and add a little, little journaling there. That day was just about coffee, so it's not too much journaling. Day 19, I typed the journaling for this. If I think it fell under my desk. Day 20, I did a process video for this one. And this day is, yeah, this day is complete, but I don't know why I didn't put glue right there. I don't know why this like that. But this day is complete, and this one I just have to... Crawl under the desk and find the journaling. Day 21. I have a little note. This is the day we did gingerbread houses. And I have a million pictures to go on here. And this one also has like a little pullout to add to the story. Day 22. I did a process video for this one. I think this is one of my favorites because you pull that out. It has that right behind it. And then on the back of there, more pictures. And then day 23. This is my favorite. I was liking this layout up until, I don't know, I feel like the, the alphas are just too big. And I have my journaling and this little plastic bag, and this little paper bag. And that is where I left off. And all I have day 24 is going to be like recipes and cooking. I'm going to put all the recipes I did this year and then 25 is Christmas and I never do like I never do a layout for Christmas I just kind of glue all the pictures in because it's a, a million pictures so that leaves me with about six layouts and I know you're saying I'm so close just do those six layouts but I have so much plan for the new year and I need to clean see all like all this junk let me zoom out so you can see I guess that's as far as I can go. But I need to clean my craft room for the new year. So that is why I am putting all the Christmas stuff away. And also I have a hard time doing that intentions page like during the month. If I don't do it before the month. Like if I do it at this point, 
I just think about all the things that I did not get to for December Daily. Because there's a lot that I didn't get to that I had planned. So I'm going to wait probably about maybe July, July or August. Whenever Hobby Lobby puts out their Christmas decorations, I pull, I'll pull this book back out and finish. And that way I can flip through it and kind of reflect on the season. And that's, I don't know, that's kind of why I'm waiting to finish it. And it's not much done, but, like, not much left to do. But this little album was so much fun. And this is actually the furthest I have ever got, you know, actually during the month of December. You know, I normally get halfway and then, you know, I leave off at day 15. But I only have, you know, maybe about five or six more layouts. So that is it. I am about to clean up clear on my craft room get organized so i'm not sure when this video will go up but happy new year to everyone the next time you see me my craft room will be all clean it will be all new year new me so merry christmas happy new year i hope everyone had a lovely holiday season and i will see you guys in the new year